agenda that's presented. I'll make a motion to present or approve the agenda as presented. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 It nays. Hearing none, motion carried. All right, we're going to have some ground rules first. We want everyone to get one chance to speak on their behalf, and everyone should get a chance and ask the questions that they like, including the cost of the proposed special assessment for their property. After everyone's spoken once, it would there, if there should be any rebuttal or any additional questions by someone who has spoken. We will hear what they have to say as long as they're not repeating themselves again. We want to make sure that, first of all, that everyone who wishes to speak has an opportunity to do so and before giving, being given a second chance again. So I will be beginning to explain some of the paperwork that was handed out when you walked in and we'll clarify anything that you may not have understood. Then we'll allow Assessor Barbara Shook to answer any questions that you may have about the proposed special assessment um, tax roll on this particular item and, then it, it, and what it will really cost you. She'll run the costs on everyone in the township if you want to see that proposed cost, she has it in several books. Please request one before the meeting if ends if you can, if, if you want to wait until uh, uh, she has it out there at the desk there to the left, my left. Um, I'll give you those a chance to find out what your proposal cost is, and we'll do it in about approximately 20 minutes worth of those, and then we'll continue with the public hearing. The purpose of the public hearing is to hear comments for and against the township-wide special assessment proposed by Carterville Township Board for funding the fire and, fi and police protection service millage. The first resolution was approved to proceed with this second resolution at the regular meeting um, following this one. Uh, we are proposing to set a millage rate of 0 .8808, which is 88 cents per thousand, a taxable value for fire, and a millage rate of 0 .1192, which is 12 cents per thousand dollars of taxable value for police protection for a total of one mil or one dollar per one thousand dollars of taxable value. We're proposing this special session to be spread over four years beginning 2019, which would be the July tax, through 2022. We want to point out the township is only one millage that they pay for anything for in this township, which we had passed to go uh, we passed it in December of 2008 and it was on your winter tax bill. Everything else that appears on your property tax is either school taxes or county taxes. We collect 1% to collect everyone else's taxes for the administration fee and 1% to operate our township which was is reduced um, this past year to 0.7008 times the uh, township database, which is $135,218,445. That equals $94,761.09 in our coffers to run our township. We have about $182,678 left in the fund balance, which was our, what our township has been taking for fire protection out of since 2010 when we joined the Marine City Fire Authority. If this millage is not adopted, we pay the fire protection at 96696 which is coming due to the Marine City Fire Authority and then approximately $9,200 to Ira Township. And then that, that, uh, the drains at large invoice is $38,454 for this fiscal year. That grand total is $144,350. And it, with the fund balance, after we pay those things, we'll have $38,000 left in our, our coffers. Um, We'll begin with uh, open session, and anyone that wishing to address the board on this uh, can do so at this time. But we're going to ask you, um, this is being televised, and we want to make sure that the people at home can hear you. You're, you're speaking into that microphone, so you must address us from that point. Um, we're going to ask you to give us your name and your address and your tax ID number, if you happen to know what it is, and also how many acres of property that you have. Um, if they uh, submitted a letter. Oh, yes. If you have already received, a, a, turned in a letter to us, um, either for or against, um, that's the first thing we want to hear because Barb's going to check and make sure that she has a copy of it. If she doesn't, many of you were given copies when you were here um, with the date on it that you received it, you know, that you dropped it off here. If, if you have that with you, that's fine. But we think we have every one. So we, we found some, I guess, in the in the drop box this afternoon, yes. too, didn't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was only one gentleman, but um, 
And then I'm going to repeat your name and address for the record so that Sherry can get it. it we're taping this as well. Um, also, uh, if you have uh, any kind of uh, objection letter, we want to know about that right away. This can be done quickly and easily, and it will give you about three minutes to speak. However, if the information you're asking for or something that may help another neighbor, neighbor's question will continue as long as it's orderly. If the question is something we cannot answer, we will ask you to give us your phone number and your email address so that we can respond back to you. Um, and then when we find the when we do find the answer, I'm pretty liberal about allowing discussions between the podium and the speaker and the board members. However, it becomes out of hand, um, gets loud, out of order, or nasty in any way, we'll call a break to the public hearing until all's calmed down, and then all the questions will be directed to me from that point on. So, with all those rules and regulations, we'll start with the comments not in support of this millage. Please approach the... You already know my name, Sherry. Hi, my name is Sandra Rattel. Uh, my husband, Henry Rattel. We live out on Broadbridge, 6364 Broadbridge. Um, I have 10 acres. I am against it. I turned in a letter. Um, I have a question first. You're stating here that this is a four-year period, okay? When I spoke with Mary Agnes before, we, the old board, okay, this is the same proposal, the old board, we signed in with the authority, Marine City Authority. How many years was that contract for? 25. Was, right, so you're only asking for four years? Four years at a time, yes, ma'am. And that is why? Well, because it's the next time it's going to be on the... On the the voting millage. We'll let, let the people vote on it, see if they want to vote. Right now, we're in, a, in dire need of taking care of this. Correct. Okay, now they already voted it. We already voted it all down, correct? A year ago? 2017. Right. How is this coming under a... a because it's an emergency situation. We, it's one of the public acts that allows us to, to do this is police, fire, uh, sanitary sewer, uh, water mains, anything that's, that's for the, the good of the... Okay, so when we signed for this, how many years ago was that? Was that 2010? So you're looking, we've already paid in nine years right. so far. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go in four-year blocks. Well, that's the way I've got it set up now. I mean, I may not be here in 2022, so the next board would make that decision. Would it be further off just to go for the entire 25 years, the rest of the contract? Well, we should update it in case something happens. I mean, you know. Is that meaning that... Okay, our assessed values now in four years are down here, and in four years it's going to be higher, so then we'll have to pay more in four years, and the next four years, and the next four years, well, what, until this is paid off. What happens with the, uh, the authority that we have with the agreement with the City of Marine City is the number of calls that we have. I mean, Do we anticipate the calls going higher? Well, they've been going down. Okay, so, so if you, you collect know. this... What happens if it's less than? Well, the money goes into a line item into the, the fund balance. In the fund of be, this only. Which can't go into, can't be spent on anything else. So in other words, four years we could have a positive and not a negative. That's exactly right. And or we could have a negative. Yes. That where we would be right back here. Okay. Um, next question. Don't want to take up a lot of time. What is this police protection? That is just to give us some starter funding, funding money if we need to 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 do something in a hurry if we have to decide on, um, we're, we're going to be asking people for for water mains for like on Marine City Highway, we got some industry that wants to come in. Um, those are all things that once you get, you know, that kind of traffic and things, I'm, I'm a little nervous that Marine City will just come in and annex and take it all away from us. What I want to do is be able to push into gear if we need to. Um, and one of the things you have to have to become a charter township is police protection. It doesn't matter if it's five hours or 50 hours a week. So we have basically, we have a rent-a-cop. Well, he's not a rent-a-cop, no. It would be either, I've got prices from uh, the... That uh, was in the book here. Yeah, but that was with Clay Township. And of course, the, the county would so also farm out to us. So are you looking toward going for a charter? If we have to do that, yes. I don't want to do it because... So what's going to have, happen with this money that's put in this fund? Is it, it just going to be a line sit item. there? It's in a line item, yes. And how long is it going to sit there? And who decides that? It's going to be there for perpetuity. And we, who's going to decide then that we need this? Well, it'll be the, it would be either board or, or the residents that would require the, 
It wouldn't require a vote. It would just be the board that could put this through. Well, no, we would probably ask what, what do you want us to do with this money? I mean, no, I meant when you decide that this police is supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to hire this police protection. Well, it's not, it's not to hire them. It's just to get the stuff going as far as uh, the paperwork that we would need to, to, uh, to either uh, enter into a contract with the county. Um, the state police, I don't think, would touch it. Um, or Clay Township to police us. And I, I guess I just don't understand why we need police protection. I really okay. don't. I mean, anybody else here? All right, well, I mean, we're so we're in on the, we have the sheriff. Yeah, that's paid by the state. Oh, it's paid no, by, it's paid by, by, by you. you. Yeah, it's paid by you. Yeah. Okay, so we're, so right now, if that were approved, okay, can these two line items, which is, you know, both, can they be, rejected individually or is this a group package no, this is a, this is a whole package why didn't you want to put them two separately because we had that vote brought to us um, it was a motion by sue and no one else wanted to they wanted to get it all done at once it, it died for lack of support if you see the minutes Right. That's what I was wondering. I mean, we might all, we might say, okay, fine, we're already into this contract. I don't like the every four years business, because then all of a sudden now it's a lot more expensive in four years, you know, because well, we're going to have to continue to do it. We have well, no every, choice. Yes, everything isn't going to be, I mean, do you ever see anything that goes down in price? That's what I'm saying. I don't know why you don't go for the whole 25000 the 25 years. Oh, well. You know what I mean? Well, really, it's going to be, what, 15, 16 years. Well, it's, it's four years at a time, and at that point in time, maybe somebody will come up with a better idea. Maybe somebody will donate us a piece of land, we can put our own fire department up. I mean, it just depends Oh, that on would even cost even more. We're not that bad. That's what I'm saying, but I, you never know. You might have a somebody that would be donating something like that. You don't know. Okay. But four years at a time, as I thought, was enough to bite off at this point. You also have drains in on here. What is that for? Well, I thought the, the drains at large, that was my example of what we have to pay through the township, that when we... When we take that final money for it, that has to come. I mean, the, I know you guys all get assessed. Oh yeah, I got drain assessment. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep, I do too. But what happens and is, then we, have is we pay one part of it. You guys pay a portion of it, and this and the county pays a portion of it. This is something that we pay every year, and it goes up and down. Some so you're just stating this on here. I don't mean to interrupt. You're just stating on here to show us what our bottom line is, correct? Yeah. Okay. Once I we get pay the, the the police and or the fire and the to uh, Marine City and Fire 2, IRA, and pay that drains at large, we're down to 38000 Okay, back on this police thing. When do you think you might decide or the board might decide that if this were to go through that we need police protection? When are we going to decide that? Yeah. Well, we'll when we need it. I don't want to jump into something that we don't need right away, but I do want to have some money put aside if we have to hire an attorney. To, to draw up an agreement between two municipalities or the county and the, and the okay. you know, you, that's not all free. I don't want to take that out of the general fund either if we don't have to. Right. Um, it's just on, preparation, Sam. On one other, okay, on, I understand that. On the next thing, do you see, I know you had said, I, we talked for quite a while, that you had other buildings going up and we had more revenue coming in. Do you see any more growth as of coming in by permits and people yes, we do. building in that? How many more houses? What do we have, 14 so far, Barb, from this past year? So what month, uh, just out of the blue, can you take a shot at the amount of uh, value? The, the problem is, is even though it's a brand new home, you're so going to make it full back. Right. So, so even First though, year's free. Even though that, that guy gets hit because he's got a brand new house on it, overall is a tax dollar amount coming in, <clears throat> and the millage rate is rolled back. That's how come, you know, we're our general law township, and we're supposed to be able to collect one mill, you know, one um, Operating, but because of Headley Amendment, which started years and years, yes, ago, I know the Headley. Um, that what that says is you just can't cut more in a percentage, no right? more than two percent of the so, of each, right of each growth. So, even though you have this big loud, growth so. coming in, the millage rate goes back. So, even though the guy with the random house gets hit, everyone else's millage rate actually goes down. It goes back. It's just like last year, Sandy cut taxes for our operating. Uh, a 0 .7017 in this coming year is going to be that 0 .7008 that Mary Agnes just said. So, so we're so it's going to go down a little bit. You're not going to see a huge amount of drop, but a little bit. But also, you got to remember your 
your taxable value in 2010, that's when we were hit the hardest. That's when the bottom dropped out of everything. So right. a lot of people's value went down then for the taxable side of it. it, it you're, and the assessed. A lot of them stayed the same. Well, the assessments are definitely going up. The sales are going, more growth, everything else. But that taxable is still just inching itself back up. We're not quite to what it was before 2010. Right. So when you talk about the millage rate for the, um, you know, every four-year increments, it's as that, it, that consumer price index has been about 3% last few years. So as that's going up on your taxable, your millage rate is going down. But it could be such a thing as it goes up enough that we could have somebody in the coffers for the next four years, if we paid off enough, maybe that millage rate might not have to be that 0.8. Maybe it could be something else for a little while. And then eventually... Right. Get that debt. Yes. Right, and get that debt. Well, that's it's going to be, time's going to get that. Yes. 25 years is going to get that. But this money, you stayed in here that it cannot be used for anything other than that. That's correct. Okay, now with the state of the township in itself, in whole. Sandy, I hate to cut okay. you off, but we've that's been going okay. like 15 minutes, and I okay, don't want to, I can't give everyone 15 right. minutes. Right, no, so. I understand that, sorry. But, I, but you had some good points, and, yeah. and Barb gave us a little hand, too. So who's next, please? <laughs> Can you get through there? Yeah. I got a cut kind of packed in here like sardines. Melinda Roshan, 5830 Plank Road. I have some questions. Um, you sent this letter out for this public hearing, and my husband came in to get to see your plan. Part of the assessment is you're supposed to have a plan beforehand. Mm -hmm. You didn't have a written plan. I have two copies from Harper Woods and Marine City for the same assessment they went for. They have costs, they have protections, they have revenue, everything is in here. We didn't get anything like this to look at. Okay, well, he came in and picked up what we had. And, and, and it's nothing we like have, this. Well, we have an agreement. We have the actual uh, money that, that goes to the Marine City Fire Authority. Right. Yeah, that's that's what we're asking for. And and then he wanted to know what conversation I had with the uh, the uh, chief of. But this uh, is what you were supposed to have. You're supposed to have okay, a complete well, plan for us to look at. All right. Well, I guess there's no plan then. But I don't know how else you can. I can tell you that this is the agreement we've had for ten years almost with uh, well, with Marine City. Marine City did it. They wrote it up. They had the same okay. um, public Marine act. City. No, that they have to write up a plan. They're supposed to prevent. All right, plans, you can read it please to review. Address, address me, please. We don't want to get a confrontation going here between people. Okay, so okay. is that Any all other you question? I, no, I had some questions. All um, right, did you fill out a, a, a slip? Yes, I did. Okay. Do you have that one? You, on the letter, you listed two different public improvements. You said 188 of, <coughs> no, I'm sorry, Act, Act 33 of 151, and that's for fire and police. But you also stated Act 188 of 1954. What is that money going to be used for? Would you like to explain that? Did you happen to uh, bring the, it with you? The second act was mm -hmm. about the, having police, being able to have a police. And, the police and fire is yeah. the, um, it's, it's the, it's an amendment. 33. Right. <clears throat> Within Act 133, it says the following procedures of Act 188 of 54. So the procedures of 188 or 54 is the two public hearings, the two notices, the paper. I, well, I have Public Act of 188, and there's nothing, and it says what you can use it for, and there is nothing in here but fire or police. There is a no, second it, one. It, it, that's why we got both acts. Right. The act that's under for the fire and police is, is the um, uh, 33, and then when you're reading 33, it, it says to follow the procedures of Act 188 or 54. That's what both acts are. Okay. So you're not actually collecting money on Public Act 188 then? Right. right. Okay. Okay, that was my question. And um, I am against this because we did vote this down once before. I know someone said that, so I am repeating myself. And I still feel that this should be up for a vote and not through these assessments like it did for the roads. Because a lot of people can't afford these taxes that keep going up. And if I wanted to pay these taxes, I would move into the city. Okay. Very good, thank you. Okay, anyone else? Dominic, go ahead, sir. Dominic Berlowski, I live at 5850 Plank Road, Marine City, Michigan. I'm against the way that the 
assessment is written up for the police department and the fire department. I'm all for the fire department, but I'm not for the police department. And as far as you saying that someplace down the road, that if the property is annexed down Marine City Highway, that somebody wants to pay 25 or $30 million to have a water line brought in down there, fine, let them bring it in. If Marine City wants to annex and take all that problem from the township, let them have the damn property. Who cares? It's costing us money to keep it. And just to show you that, just by your saying, someday we're going to have to have the police department. We have more police protection now than we've ever had since they moved Algonac Sheriff's Department into their location. We have the Border Patrol that is patrolling the area. I see more state police up here than we've ever had. And I was a cop for 22 years. And uh, for the way uh, the Sheriff's Department runs, once they do a contract, it's not the same as if they have with Algonac, the city of Algonac. So I think we should have separated these two to vote because now I'm voting against the fire department and the police department. And I want the, I want the police department, but I don't want I don't want the police department, but I want the fire department. So what am I going to do? I'm going to vote no. So. Okay. Sir, did you um, submit a, a letter already? No. No. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Anyone else? I'm Meldon Hoover from 7130 Arnold Road. I'm sorry, I didn't hear your name. <clears throat> Meldon Hoover. Melvin Hoover. Yep. And, uh, and what was the address, sir? 7130 Arnold. Okay, go ahead. I have a few issues with the plan. Um, first, first of all, did you send a letter to us? Did you submit a letter? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Um, I guess my first issue with this is if you're raising my taxes to pay the fire department, why am I being billed by the fire department? Because we don't have enough money. And we, whatever we have that we can uh, can get, uh, most of the people that are billed outside of that are people that, that maybe had a car accident in our area that don't live in, in Cotterville, but why should we pay to have the, the wash down or the pole moved or the whatever would happen if they have a wreck? Why Those should are all I things. Have I'm sorry, I don't Go ahead. to cut you off. Why should I have to pay to put my own fire out? You the fire was out fire 30 out? minutes before the fire department was, got did you call the, the, did, oh, did you call the fire department and cancel them? No, we called 911. And before the fire department got there, I had the fire out. Okay, well, the we fire can department wait next time took and have you double check if you would to get rather, there. but it might be a little dangerous that way. Who, in, who invoiced you, or who charged you? That was when the, oh, it didn't Township oh, oh, that was the one that for five hundred dollars. Okay, okay, five hundred dollars. Yeah, for me to put my own fire out. Oh goodness. Yeah. So anyhow, um, I don't really see how any of this tax is a benefit. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. <coughs> Most people do have that insurance in their in their policy that that they pay to have the. Yeah, I have homeowners insurance. The only thing is, they're gonna fight me to pay a bill that you guys sent for a fire that I put out. <laughs> okay, well I guess we didn't realize you'd put the fire out already. And that's like I have the fire report here too. Also, it says is this a billable call? And right in here you can see where it took 30 minutes for them to even get the call. Okay, well. You know, I mean, it's a good thing that nothing, you know, that I did have the fire put out and the people were awake. Otherwise, my house and entire family would probably be a pile of ashes. You're absolutely right now. Very, very true. You're very lucky. Well, I'm supposed to pay more taxes for service that lousy and then supposed to pay $500 on top of it. Well, it doesn't, it's supposed to be reimbursable through your insurance. Well, that's nice. My insurance company is going to fight me on it. I guarantee it. Okay, well, if they fight you on it and it's not in your policy, that's your prerogative. You you let us know and we'll we'll contact. My them problem for you. is you want to raise my taxes to pay for stuff that is supposed to prevent me from getting a bill for five hundred dollars when my house catches on fire. Okay. Correct? Well, 
uh, uh, one doesn't have anything to do with the other, but um, are you all set? Is there anything else you'd like to add? What was that? Could you tell them which fire department? Yeah, I, actually it was Richmond that was on the site first. Ira didn't show up till last. Okay. They were the fifth department to respond, actually. Yeah, we, well, yeah, we've had that discussed at the board meeting already, so. Yeah. Okay. Can I? I'm not sure. For them. He's not like me. Can I, I say yeah. something? Are, yes, sure. Are you, are you his wife? Or? Yes. Oh, okay. And your first name is? My name is Stephanie, Stephanie. Hoover. Same address, 7130 Arnold. My issue is uh, along the same lines as his. My question to you is if we're paying taxes um, for the sheriff's department, why are we going to be paying more taxes for a individualized police department? Um, I don't think that we should have to pay double taxes for two different police departments. Um, I think that's ridiculous. And I think if we're already covered like everyone else has said, by the state police, I've seen numerous times, okay. the sheriff's department, the border patrol, I don't feel that we should have to pay double taxes for police enforcement. Okay. Um, the second thing is, um, if we're paying taxes, property taxes, how does that not cover our fire department? How does it not cover? Because there's no millage for it. Um, this is what I'm asking for. And I understand that, but so we, we have to pay for our own fire department out of our own pocket. We got a bill for $500, and my question to you is, what do we pay taxes for? What, what do, do our taxes tax go towards right now? All it covers is the 1%. I've been, uh, that's the stuff all I read this morning or this afternoon. All these things that, that it does cover. It's 1% for operating, which gets reduced down because of the Headley Amendment. It's supposed to be 1% of all the taxes that we collect. Now, we don't have taxes for Cotterville. We're collecting taxes for the county and the schools, and that's the percentage we get to do that. And that's how we operate our township. We just got a, a half a mil for road repairs. That went on the uh, December 2018 winter tax. That's to help with the, the roads that are, belong to the township that we have to maintain. Uh, we've got culvert tubes that we're dis, uh, dissolving and, and disintegrating, and we have to fix those things. Our, our prime example, our culvert in front of our house was redone since Christmas, the town, the county was out there, not the township. And we live on Arnold Road. Right. So what are my taxes going towards? I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. My other question to yeah, you is. Yeah, but the money that comes to the township is different from the county. The money that you state, you, when you pay your income tax, you pay uh, income tax to the federal government and you pay to the state of Michigan, right? Correct. They don't put the money together to work on stuff. Everybody does their own thing, and we don't have anything to work on. We don't have any money that's our taxes. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Okay. I'm going to move on. One Please. last question. Uh, the Marine City Fire Authority. If we were in a contract for 25 years for the Marine City Fire Authority, why were they not called to our fire? They're not in your area. No. I understand that. But why are we on contract having to pay them if they're not in our area? I have controls of mutual aid who gets called, and they don't have Marine City down for call. And I understand that. But I want to know why, if we're paying for them, why are they not being called to my house? Because Ira was supposed to have been called, and it was a mistake made my, at, the, at the central dispatch, which we have no control of. That could have happened to any place, anybody else in this whole county. The central dispatch, when you dial 911, it goes to central dispatch. But you told me the last meeting we were here that they're not um, part of, whatever you just said, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Mutual aid. mutual aid. But why are we paying for them if they're not in our mutual aid? It, every department has their own mutual aid. I don't know what Ira's got. I know Ira takes care of the west part of our township from Starville West, Starville Road. Anyone else? I just have a couple questions. Pat Genuine. I live uh, on River Road in Cotterville. And in your correspondence, you've got Marine City Fire Authority Department runs and we pay for that. And also Ira Township Fire Department runs, we pay for that. Um, why, why do we have to have this, this new um, assessment if everything's going well paying for the ones that we have, the runs that we're getting? I think you're, you're looking at a sheet out of the, uh, that was provided regarding income. I don't think you're reading it 
What page are you on? Do you know? Uh, I page? just got the sheet that you put out there. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had a. No. You had runs. You just told me you had runs. No, she asked. No, it's question. it's on the sheet. I'm asking you what the runs would be. Well, How many well, runs it would be? Well, it doesn't give you an amount. We pay by the run. We pay a, a flat fee to Ira Township quarterly. It's, it's whether it, there's a fire You'll or pay not. per run? And then we pay per run after that, yes. Mm -hmm. And the same with Marine City? No, nope. Marine pay? City, we, we are a conglomerate. We, we pay based on the number of 911 calls, the percentage goes to each um, municipality that's involved. Us, the City of Marine City, China Township, and East China Township. Mm -hmm. And what happens is they give us a, a, a multiplier that we use for the previous three years. They add the previous three years runs and divide it by that number of runs, and then mm -hmm. that's our percentage. Ours just went down a little bit to 96,000, I think, 696. Mm -hmm. It went down, I don't know, a couple And times. we're doing okay doing that, so why, why this assessment? I don't get it. Well, because there's no actual funding for it. And when, when we're out of money in the, in the savings account, the, the fund balance, we're going to be on our own, and I, I'm waiting right here to the last minute to, to get this done. I mean, when we pay what's got to go out this year, we're down to $38,000. What do you want us to pay Where for is next it going? year? Too many people working in the office. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's my opinion. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, we'll do that another I don't day. know if you remember when we hired, where did we hire that police uh, car from for Cotterville? Oh, that was from the sheriff. Oh, well, that was from the sheriff. We never saw her patrol once, not once. I don't know. I don't know that one. You know, we, we've got... Several thousand dollars, which wasn't a lot. Yeah. And she was supposed to uh, patrol, but nobody ever saw her. So, you know, but that's another story. Yeah, but, that, that but we did have we did have opportunity to call uh, the police. One time last summer, <coughs> it seemed like several cars were parking out in front of our our house and we didn't know what was going on and uh, we called and the um, the um, border, patrol. border patrol was there in like five minutes I mean and, the, and they told us that somebody just had a flat tire and their friends were coming and helping them fix it but there were like three four cars there lined up and they were there in like five minutes well if you want to depend on the border patrol I mean I, I don't want to take that chance I do okay well because they worked well for us. All right. And I have one more question. Okay. Is this going to go on the ballot to a vote, or are you just going to? No, this has been done by board action. Is that legal? Yes, it is. OK, that's my question. All right. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You're going to have to just go up there and talk, if you would, because I, I need your name. Uh, my name is Scott Pemberton. Scott I live at 447 Pemberton? Field okay. in Cherry Beach. Um, what I need to know is if we're paying St. Clair County for the police protection right now and the fire protection, why should we have to pay it again? Okay, you're not. Explain so, that to me. You're, you're not. You're, we, we have to support the jail. Okay, why are we paying already then? Because that's what we have to do. That's what the okay, county Okay, well, we're paying for it, but then we're going to have to pay, pay more. They don't pay for they, the, the county is allowed to obtain. This um, is St. Clair County. Right. Is allowed okay, to we're obtain paying the county already. For jail. Right. They have so to, why they should have we have to, to pay it again? Because we're asking for, for funding to take care of. You these already things. have that. Okay, well, it's not enough. Let's put it that way. We don't have anything for what we need to do for. So, what's happening with that money? Sir, it's divided up in, in Port Huron. They decide how much patrol we get. So, why don't you talk to them? Okay, we will. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. What was your address, Scott? 447 Field Avenue. It's, uh, and, did, and did you have a letter? No, 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 no letter. Okay. <clears throat> Tom White Knight, 7161 Arnold Road. Now, I'm also on your fire authority. I've been on there since before its inception, helped put it together. And the way that they actually bill for your fire department, because you are one quarter owner of a full fire department at this time. This township is. But the way that they bill it is they take the runs that, uh, that each township has, they add them up, 
and I divide them by three because we got a three year roaming ad average. average. And then that is your percentage of the budget the that you would pay. And so when we got into this, the supervisor that was here at the time went ahead and decided to go ahead and collect the money that the insurance companies would pay for a fire at your house because everybody's policy has like a $500 amount. This is what they are collecting. They take this money and I'm not sure what they do with it. I have, and this was to help offset any increases in the fire authority. Now the amount of money that comes in can be anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars per year, which is a substantial amount. And I am against. But my biggest question is, why do we why are we paying ten thousand dollars or ninety six hundred dollars to IRA when you already own a fire department? Mr. White Knight, you know better than anyone that, that that's the ISO rating that the state of Michigan regulates insurance companies. And they want you to be closest to the, the nearest fire department. And we are closer by that mile road there with, with uh, Starville. We're closer to Ira than we are to Marine City. And if you want to set up a petition, I'd be happy to help you. If you want to set it up so that all the people along that way, if they want to change and pay a little higher premium to be part of the Marine City Fire Authority, I'll be happy to help you. I contacted my insurance company, and according to them, I live 6.3 miles from Ira, 6.3 miles from Marine City. My insurance will not go up, okay. and your ISO is also based upon water availability, the equipment that's available, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's fine. Um, did you turn in the letter for us, sir? Yes, I did. Okay. Are we all set? Thank you, sir. Anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyone else like to speak at the podium, please? Sir, let, let Mr. Genuine go first, will you? Thanks. I just want to make sure I understand this. Um, you want to have this police department, you want to have a fund for, um, separately for police so that if, we, if someone ever tries to um, uh, annex that area along 26 Mile or any place, I suppose. Any place. You, you would have a, you could say, well, we got a police department. Well, why don't you wait till somebody starts showing up buying property and and you know you're getting way ahead of yourself i think bill we have several irons in the fire right now that you're not aware of well that may be um but you got thirty-eight thousand dollars. you can go for a little while on that well, how far do you think we can go i don't know thirty-eight thousand dollars won't pay next year's drain drains at large which well, is our obligation to meet well when it actually happens or you know for sure it's going to happen then I think we ought to take action, but I don't know. Bill, I've been working on that since I got here in 2015. This is the fourth time I've had this before this board. Fourth time. They finally realized that there isn't enough money to take care of the, the work that needs to be done for our township. Do we have enough residents in here and through all of Cotterville Township and the money that we would be raising in here and all the failed infrastructure that's going to be needed to support it? I don't know what you're talking about, but you know you, you can't just interrupt a meeting like this. Please. Well, I just I don't I, understand. I really don't. I think okay, you're, well, you're way ahead of yourself. And well, that's how you plan for people. I mean, for, we're working on a on a master plan for for 20 years. I mean, should we stop that too? Or no, no. no okay. I well, those are all things that but, you have to work you know, ahead of. That's why that were there was no vision before we got this board together. I mean, we've got people that really genuinely have the the township at heart trying to trying to figure out things that we need to do it, it sounds like you're getting this thing way ahead of what it needs to be okay well 
We appreciate your, your comment. Anyone else? There we go. Your name, sir? Stephen Francis, 5915 Markle Road. And I don't have your parcel ID number, um, but I do thank you for your service, all of you. Um, my question, just um, a little confusing as to what you're doing, what this is. It you know, it says now you have one millage that's just starting paying, but you also collect 1% for administration and 1% operating. So do you, you're that you're already collecting, and now you're collecting the mill as well? Okay, you, it's, it's one mill for, the, for these two items. The half a mill was for road. That was to supplement anything that I can get from the county as far as uh, match money. 1% um, um, has been reduced down to, like Barb just said, uh, it's not 1%. It's 0 0.701. I'm just trying to get clarification. You right. said, it I'm says here that you, you have only one mill. I wanted to point out that you has only one millage, and you just started collecting it in December of this year. It's a half So you've mill. never collected any other taxes from us to no. run this township. So no, how's sir. it been running all this time? What put this building up? Well, the half a mill, there was, there was a large savings account. Mr. Creasel was Yeah, a, I know, I understand. But was, where did the money, where, where, did, where did operating costs come from before December of 2018? Yeah. It came out of the savings. Where did the savings come from? That was money that was salted away by, by uh, the difference between your budget and what you receive in taxes. We have the That's lowest taxes you. in the county. Did you collect taxes from us yes. prior to December? Okay. That's what I'm asking. And you're going to ask, and you now are collecting a mill on top of the taxes you already currently collect. The, the one mill Correct? to collect is... That, yes or no, that's all. Yes or no. Well, you don't understand what it is. The money has to go to a certain fund. We have to, the, the millage for, for uh, collecting the money is to go to the treasurer's office, the assessor's office. It's all the bookkeeping that has to be done. The, I, I, I'm not questioning what you do with the money. I'm well, questioning I'm telling all you I that want there isn't money there to pay for All I want is, is clarification if you already collected taxes from us and then you started now adding a millage of December of this year Half to also help fund the township, correct? That was for roads only. Well, yeah. It's well, another now line you, item. That's the one that you just Send a letter out. Well, there isn't is that anything that else. Is? That's the only. Is you, that what you this is? This taxes? December 2018 one. Is that for the one that you just asked and That's did for the special road. assessment? Road special assessment repair. The one you just sent the letter out, maybe first part of the year. Something. It was this. December. Are we talking about? Okay. October, so that's that's for that. Yeah. So that reduces the cost to the to the township now out of the normal taxes that you collect because you've assessed us for the for that and had our pain. It doesn't reduce it. So no. so going forward. Out of those taxes that you collect now, one of the primary things for most townships, it's even in the township authority if you look it up, is to provide police and prior for fire protection. That is what you should pre provide basic need when you collect taxes. Mm -hmm. Cities, townships, it's in most of their charters. Yeah, but it's on so now everything you want to, is a special So now you're doing an end around and not providing, you want additional funding to provide that so you can take that out of your budget for what? You're not understanding. Yes, I do understand perfectly. Every That's county, a, every st city in this in this state has a, a fund balance. They also have a exactly. millage for police, if they have police. They have a millage for fire, if they have a fire department. What we've been doing is using other people all the time. And we've been up to the, using up all of the savings in the in the fund balance that Mr. Kriesel had, had earned and put, put aside for all these years. I mean, if he could run a township on three hundred thousand a year, and we got in four hundred thousand, that hundred hundred grand went in the pot, and that was put in a savings account. We can't do that. There hasn't been any money not used out of that for probably fifteen years. Yeah, I'm not, I, again, I'm not questioning what you spend it on. Okay, well, I don't know what you're what asking. What I'm questioning is, do you provide? Are you supposed to provide police and fire protection on the taxes that you currently collect? No. No. We don't have to. No, nobody so, else does. So no, you, so you want to, so what you're asking yeah. for is a special assessment to provide p fire protection, police protection, especially fire protection that we've had for so many years already that you've been paying for out of. We've been paying. Can I say something? Yeah, Go sure. Ahead. Excuse me. We've been paying. I'm Kathy Shu. I'm the treasurer. Been here for two years. Uh, when we first, when I first came in, uh, we saw. We have the general fund, and we're paying the. I'm going to generalize and say $100,000 for fire protection. It's right within yeah. that time. It's either going to be 95 or 105, somewhere in between. 
It's coming from the general fund. Okay. It's not in a separate fund. We, our fund balance is low. And in the past, and not to, through whatever reason, in the last few years, that fund balance has been depleted. We have been told by the state that we have to have, what, two and, two and, and a half, half times, times our, our budget. budget. Okay, we, our budget is approximately $500,000 uh, that we run the township on, and these are a certain percentage of operating taxes, which I think this year it's going to be 95000 We get revenue sharing. We have certain, if you're familiar, you sound like you're familiar with it, so we have certain things that we collect as revenues. The expenses are... Uh, we're, we're still operating with that 500000 We have been. We've been trying to do a balanced budget every year and maintain that 500000 because we haven't increased. The state is telling us we need two and a half times what we now have in a fund balance, um, which would be a million and a half. We are trying to reduce the general fund by it, it reduce, take that 100000 Keep it as the start contributing it toward the fund balance. Have the fire protection paid by this millage or fire and police in a separate fund. We're trying to build up the fund balance. It's not always going to be a savings, but we're trying not to continue to dip into a fund balance that's depleting. Yeah, so my understanding is you don't have or not collecting enough money to pay the operating expenses of a fire authority. Well, we, is what you're, so you're taking money out of a general fund. So in that case, you're going back to the right. question that was asked at the beginning of this yes. meeting, if this is only for four years, if that general fund balance goes back up to a level where you're not concerned about, then, then that millage should come off. Is that correct? Yeah. Then we may not have to do another four years. Because it you're basically reduce. not really wanting a fire, a fire millage thing. You're basically trying to, well, to, no, we to want build to, back that fund up. We want to have a fire millage to have a separate fund for some of these higher costs that we're pulling from the general <coughs> fund. And the fire protection is one of them. Um, the drains is another one that goes up and down every year. Um, the police was something that was added to this millage. But yes, we're yeah. trying to do both. I know, but that's you know that's kind of like where my problem is is you know you call it a general fund that's you, you you know here's your operating costs you know this is what your fund is and out of that you're supposed to provide police and fire protection so now you want to separate the two entities we correct? want to have the you want fire, to have, yes we want, want it to, to have, be self-sufficient yes. and that pay for itself and then your general fund to do all the other operating costs to do the other operating costs mm -hmm but to also maintain a fund balance of two and a half times the operate the uh, the two and a half times our budget amount so that we meet the state requirements and i think our fund balance last year according to the audit was 216,000 and there was 33,000 that was non-spendable and 182 that was unassigned so we're at as, that was as of March 31st, 2018. We haven't had the budget this year um, to see what... The audit this year. Or excuse me, the audit this year to see where we stand on that. But we see it as, as a board, we see it as a problem that, you know, it wasn't that the money was just spent in two years. It's yeah. been accumulating. And we're looking forward and saying we have to do something. Well, my, my biggest op concern, my biggest opposition to this tonight is because this just happened in December, now it's happening again, and what's, what happens if you say, you know what I mean, is this going to be a, a new precedent set by this board and by this township that we're, okay, we're short on this to fund this and we don't have the money in the general fund, so let's have a special assessment? No. Because so. based on what I've been seeing so far tonight, you know, and the actions of some of the board members, it's it's falling on deaf ears because okay. it's still up to you guys well because uh, we turned it down as a township once before and maybe when it comes up again if it was more informative to everyone as a whole in this township how that money is going to be spent and what they would need it for if we had a clear understanding of that then they may have passed it okay. well we had two okay. town hall meetings for yeah. the last one yeah and, and, and we got and, like 12, 12 people showed up both yeah. times you know, um, get a little bit more tonight get a little bit more tonight no, no. It was held at the fire department. 
Did oh, you come to the fire department? I'm sorry. Yeah, the fire department. We held, we held it right there so that they could actually walk around the trucks and see that, you know, that's all one quarter of us. Okay, but, the, but that is my concern and my, my objection to it. All right, sir, it. can you spell your last name for me? F-R-A-N-C-I-S. Okay, and you were at 91? 5915. Oh, 5915. Markle. Ar Arnold? Markle. Markle. Do I have any of it right? <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And you didn't have a letter either, did you, sir? No, no letter. All right, who's next? Anyone else? No, it's just them and us. Hello, I'm Kathy Conan at 6145 Marsh Road, Cotraville Township. I did not know anything about a letter until yesterday, so I did not have one. Okay, my concern is if I have homeowner's insurance, I had a fire in February. My bill from the fire department is way more than what my insurance will cover. My insurance company, and also another insurance company for somebody that I know works for, I showed them this bill and they were flabbergasted. They said never have they seen a fire bill this high for a residential fire. $3,170. What if, does it, if we're already paying. You're, you're going to have to bring it into us so we can look at I it. I did. Those are the bills that we should find city. Okay. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Where is this money going? If we're paying for fire protection okay, well. and you want more money to pay for fire protection, why am I getting a bill like this? I went to the fire department. They said they don't bill this. This is not a bill from them. They said you don't get a bill from them until the end of the year. They said that you got a bill from Marine City Fire Department. I got a bill from you. I went That's to the fire bill, department. <laughs> let me let me look at it after the. I meeting. brought it in here. Well, I, I don't remember ever seeing you. I'm sorry. Did you bring it to me? I brought it in here and I talked to the treasurer. Or no, it was. Um, oh gosh, Marge. Well, I've never and heard she of it told before. me there was absolutely nothing they could do about it, that the fire department charges you this amount, and they have to pay this. I went to the fire department. They said, that's a flat-out lie. That's All what right. they told me. I don't know about that. Let's that's exactly what he told me. Okay. Who was the gentleman? Joe, the fire okay. chief. The police chief. Fire chief. Yep. All right. He told me that you do not get a bill until the end of the year and that your bill is the percentage of how many calls come to this township. They said that they have no idea why I got a bill for this okay, price. Okay, I wonder why they gave us the bill. Let's see it. This is from the township. Well, yeah. that's not one of our forms. <laughs> it was sent in your envelope can to me. I brought can it we, here. Can okay. we just see it up here because it's kind of hard. Thank you. It's, it's a little bit easier. Those are the breakdowns that yeah. we get yes. from the fire department yeah. to, bill out. About the runs to bill out. To bill out because we used to have a company that would try to collect the funds right. and they would take a percentage so we started billing ourselves to billing save money. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're just trying to collect more money. We're, we're trying to collect Sorry. I just funds <laughs> when to pay the, the, the bill. Okay, the first it's is 535, and then there's three hours. No. This is. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a copy of this. Um, you don't need to get out of your recording. We have copies of this. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was also told by Joe, the fire chief, that you are not allowed to charge for medical runs from the fire department. And in order to recoup those prices, you charge the people that have fires over and above in order to pay for the medical runs. I don't know that that's correct either. Okay. Well, that's what I was told. Okay. Well, we'll have a discussion with him. He told me that he was going to come here and have a discussion with you. That's what he told me. <laughs> okay. We haven't seen We Joe. haven't seen him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This was in February. Is this Joe is still out there? There he is. Oh, there he is. Come on in. Maybe you can help. Hi, Joe. Maybe you can shed some light on this. All right. Quiet, everybody, please. Please. Mrs. Connor, can you take a seat, please? This bill, um, when we first started the fire authority, when um, Supervisor Raymond was in, um, they did a, him and Chief Tucker did a, um, somewhat audit of the county of what their going rates were and this is where this has all come up from probably 
12, whatever the authority was uh, established. Um, they do an hourly rate for engine manpower. Um, the reason there was a, a three hour additional is because we were there a total of four hours right. at this call. Now, as far as the medical emergencies, I don't remember stating that um, we charge extra for fires. Um, we cannot, by law, charge no. medicals because we do not transport. Right. Tri Hospital EMS transports. Um, we already went through that once before um, with a, um, when Mr. Raymond was here and I believe when Kelly Faselli was here. Um, so now we do not charge for medicals at all and we do not add for anybody that has a fire. Um, this, is a, this has been going on for, like I said, the 12 years for the township to try to recoup the cost of being in the fire authority, right. being quarter owner of the um, department. Um, and the only reason that this one is 3170 is because we were there four hours. Um, we had an engine and two tankers and a rescue truck, plus uh, four uh, other departments sure. that we do not charge for um, having them there. They're automatic mutual aid. Um, they are free to us. Um, as far as the IRA and us, um, that has been, um, they've been involved in the Southwater Fire Department um, for years. Um, they have five other departments that they're involved with that mutual aid. Um, it's something that we can look at um, getting into that um, mutual aid agreement with. Um, I haven't sat with uh, Chief Keller, but it's something we can do. Um, we've had them. They've had us for structure fires. Um, the call on Arnold Road, um, sorry for that call, but um, the only thing that I have heard is their pagers did not go off. Um, if you've read in the paper for a year, a couple years now, county switched these new pagers. We have been missing calls. Um, Joe, can you explain, excuse me, can you ex explain to people what happens when the south water goes out? When south works, water goes out, let's say, it, let's say it's Ira Township, right. um, them, Elginac, right. Clay Township, New Baltimore, and Lennox Township get toned out at the same time. And um, when you say toned out, you mean they that get they, the act, they at the activate same their pagers, their pagers are set off. All at the same time. Right. So we were told in this case with, Miss, is it Mrs. Hoover? Hoover. Mm -hmm. Hoover that there was a problem with the dispatcher. This is what discussed in a previous meeting. It's a new system. A new, oh, it was a new system. So it's not, it's within a year and a half. And the pager was, the pagers were not activated, yeah. correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I know that uh, several weeks after that, they had another um, call out on Meisner and Casco Township where their pagers did not go off. Right. Um, it's a, that's a county issue, um, a paging issue. So um, we are, kind of the squeaky wheel on it um we're the kind of uh they're going to be putting a tower up at our station because we have had several we haven't missed any um but we have other uh, members that did not get the page and luckily we have our phones that actually go off when there's a call right. also um do you do so the the fire departments did respond it was just they didn't get the initial ira did not right they didn't um, get until the after their second or third tone right. out and, and there's minutes um, in between those tones they wait yes. right yes there's yes. three minutes in yes. between each um, tone and that's a protocol through the right. county yes. um they'll call about two minutes and ask if we're clear on the call um nobody answered up i believe and then they um new baltimore and clay were already en route right. um, to that in lennox and Algonac, So. There's a fire in Marine City. Do the people in Marine City pay for you guys to come there and put the help put the fire out, or no? No, they, their um, board does not require that. Um, they they're 56 percent owner of the department. Um, that's how many calls they have over the three years. 56 percent. Um, um, East China used to do it. Um, they quit doing it um, just because it was a headache having to send a bill out. Um, and not getting paid, and it would cost more to go to court than some of these. And um, China Township has their own millage, and they, <coughs> they have quite a bit of money in that for uh, fire protection. And East China, China are charter townships. They can charge more than the 1% for operating expenses. We are not. That is a big difference. Is China a charter township? Yes. yes. How many calls did you do? Um, I would have spot. to guess about 168 to 170 some, um, and that's an average for Cotterville um, throughout the year. Marine City is uh, 300, 400 and some. Um, China is only like 8%, and then uh, 
Yeah. East China is like. Um, for last year, um, Cotterville Township had 179 calls, which is 26% of our uh, run volume for the year. Now, what I'll say is, um, in the, over the time of this uh, fire authority, I can say our budget has not gone up more than $2,000 um, and has actually gone down, um, as Tom and Mary Agnes can uh, vouch for that has actually gone down over the years. Um, this year, I think it went up $200 um, yeah, from this budget, $300. Um, try to do the bare minimum. Um, we did break calls down years ago when uh, Mr. Chartier sat on the board. Um, per call, we are actually cheaper than IRA um, if you break it all down on, on call percentages. But I think both departments are a good department, um, well-run departments. Um, it's up to the board what they do. Um, but if anybody has any questions, I will be here um, as long as I can. I work midnight, so <laughs> I'm actually. Is Richmond on the fire No, they're not. I don't know if Richmond showed up. I believe New Baltimore, Lenox Township. They might have had Richmond, Lenox, EMS. That yeah, was their um, mutual aid. Mutual, they're ambulance. It was Richmond Lennox EMS. Right. Um, I believe they had Clay, New Baltimore, Algonac, and Ira. Um, did you save the house? The gentleman did. <laughs> <laughs> it was out. It was out prior to. It was out prior. <laughs> but I will. Um, I'll come in and talk to the um, Mayor Agnes and whoever about um, her bill here for the $170. Thank you. Um, Thank, you. Thank you very much. That is up to you guys if you want to waive that. Okay. But I'll be here as long as I can sure. after the meeting. Thanks, Chief. Thank you. Did you, did you, you want to say? I do have the question. If, if my insurance is paying part of this and other people are paying for their fire runs and everything, then why do we need more money? To go for fire if we're paying our own fire runs well you're paying we are you are paying through the general fund you are being taxed for that on your winter bill we collect a certain amount that we use for operating taxes in the general fund okay we get revenues from other that's not my question okay my we, question is okay I'm paying for my own fire department to come put my fire out He's paying for the fire department. They're paying. They're paying. Anytime you, we have the fire department come to our home, we are paying the bill. So what are you paying for? Paying, what, why are, we, why are you portion, asking for more? A percentage. Yeah, Mr. White Knight said that we're collecting between ten and 20000 It was $2,175 that we collected last year. Yeah. I mean, he was way off on that. So. And that okay. Well, he so just said that how much he charges per engine and everything else, it's right on here, and you charged me the full amount of what they are charging. Well, we'll have to look at that. We have to we have to talk to Joe about. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I I didn't hear it before this evening tonight. So I didn't I'm either. sorry. So. Anyone else have to speak? Yes, sir. All right. Could could we have a quiet little bit here? Keith Becker, eight one eight three South River Road. No, I didn't give you a letter. My my question is, you deem that we have an emergency, which seems fairly obvious. They don't have any money. But you call it, you get us all now for a special assessment for fire, police authority. It doesn't sound like you need a police authority. If you separated this, probably nobody would have said a word. Okay, well. But how can you call, if you've got an emergency, send out a letter and say, hey, we need 10% extra in the taxes for everybody. People can understand that. That's what we're doing. That's what a special assessment is called for, sir. We don't send it like you're saying. You're calling we're having an emergency. It's called a special assessment. That's fine, but why don't you say a special assessment? We need more money. That's what we did. That's what that special assessment means. Any place in the state, that's what, that's, that's what that means. All right. I understand, but we're doing it for police department. We're doing it for fire authority. 
Why can't it be we have a special assessment because we are out of money and we are going to raise your taxes 5%, whatever, because we have no money. Why call it something else? That's what you're doing. Because that's why the state of Michigan says you have to pass these regulations when you raise taxes. There's a procedure you have to do, and we have to do it according to the public acts. We can't just decide, well, we're going we're gonna to do it your way because it sounds better. It's because it has to meet certain things. But the the, uh, the police authority sounds like a fly-by-night. It's not the police they need. Well, a lot of people, that, when we went through the last fire authority, said, why don't we include the police just and in make case. It, well, then why didn't you have them separate? Couldn't you do because that? Because we, we didn't want to separate it. The, the majority of the board, with the exception of Mrs. Biscorner, uh, wanted to put them together. That's why we formed it together. She voted against that. There are special, there, there's only certain items that you can run for a special assessment as well. There's a list of things under different acts that you can have a special assessment on. And if so, you do it that way, it can only go in that fund. If right. we just ask for more money, we could spend it anywhere. Right, so we could put it anywhere. But or the next way, board could do it. It goes into a fire fund and into a police fund. And, and that's you can the only, only use place it for it that. It has to yeah. be approved yeah. by so the board. This money is going somewhere special for the police or for fire. Yes. So it's not going to do anything for your emergency. We're only got thirty-eight thousand dollars left. Well, it's going to alleviate the money that's coming out of the general fund to pay for those items now. Yeah. I mean, that we've said that all along. We've been saying that for the last few meetings. That okay? I'm again generalizing. Hundred thousand dollars, let's say, that we have paid this year just for fire. It's coming out of the general fund. That's a separate fund that we uh, use to operate the township. What money goes into the general fund? From uh, your taxes? We get a certain percentage from taxes, which Mary Agnes was trying to explain that it's only a certain percentage. We may collect 125 million um, taxes for the county, for the, our township, but only a certain percentage comes back to us in operating taxes, and that was 95,000 this year, and that's up. It used to be, it's gradually gone up. It was, since we've been here, like 80, 85, 95. Okay, it's gone up a little bit. That 95 is put into the general fund along with um, minimal revenues. We do get a state shared revenue. We get monies that we collect from fire run fees, which is what, 2175. This was all in our budget. There's small revenues that we do collect in addition to the 95,000, the percentage we get from collecting taxes. Our budget with expenses was $500,000. We've been maintaining that budget amount for two years. We've been doing what, making amendments so that we always stay within that 500000 We are saying to the residents, we have to, we, according to the state, have to have a fund balance of all of our funds, that, all the money in the, in the township, when all the expenses are paid, we have to have a fund balance of two and a half times our budget. We have a fund balance now of 200000 approximately, and some of that money cannot be spent. We are using the special assessment to collect money specifically for what a special assessment can be used for, and in this case it would be fire and police. Does that then count to, for the uh, state saying we've got this in here and here and here? Does that yeah. give you what you need? Yes. It gives us a opportunity to start to stop using the money from the fund, the general fund, set the police and fire off to the side like in another, like the general fund's a bucket, this is going to be another bucket. Different. It all can only be used. Money in different pockets. Right, it can only be used for that. Okay, the only thing, I don't think anybody in here complains about the fire. It's the police that seem to have people riled up. Well, the police as well was um, based on a car per hour, right, a rate per hour. And in um, our past board meetings, we have had, it's not we the only thing that the police would be used, but some of the things that were brought up by other residents was in some of the areas of the township where traffic control, things like that, and they didn't feel that they were getting the attention from the sheriff's department. In all fairness, this board has been pushing uh, trying to help those particular residents that came to us with a petition and contacting the sheriff's department saying, we need your help. I get one more. 
in here talks about uh, Clay Township Police meeting you, whatever, but they'll come out and help, et cetera. What does that have to do with anything? Clay Township? I asked for a cost per man with, just with one car. car. Just oh, it was, I okay, all right. Just I, so we I know see it was. here. It sounded like, yeah, whenever we have to, we'll come and help you guys, but no, I no, didn't no. know if that. No, 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 We would be asking for certain hours. You know, I see. In, right. in and the little bit be, that we're collecting. That'll we, be another special assessment or no, just? It's, it's, it's all part of that one. But okay. that would give you like, I mean, if we if we broke it all down to what Clay was, was going to operate for us, it would be five hours a, a day, a week, is all we're going to get. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. all right. Did you get all this information? Okay. All right. That's good. All right. That's good enough. Anyone else? My name is Josh Daniels, 5955 Shortcut Road. I did not get a letter in. You got to respect what these people are seeing as a big picture. I know this has nothing to do with Cotterville, but we're facing a possible millage for schools. You're facing a gas tax of 45 cents, and it's all stemming down from every government at every level hasn't balanced their budget. <clears throat> more money, more money, more money. There are a lot of senior citizens in this room on fixed income. What are they supposed to do? They got to draw the line. That's why they don't want it. You're going to tax a man like my father to sit at home and do nothing because they're going to tax him to death. You got to figure it out. We got to balance our checkbooks. And I know you're trying and you stem this from other uh, board members, other boards, but it has to be solved. I mean, you got the road tax, the special assessment, correct? Yes, sir. And when we were here for that, it was spoke of that the money was. It was running low, but it was there for the fire authority. I remember uh, Mr. Klingler speaking to you about that at the road assessment meeting. I mean, you got the road one, and they're paying for that. This, I don't know. There's got to be a line drawn in the sand somewhere. I want to retire one day. I live in the country because it is cheaper. I grant you, you gotta, you got to do what you got to do. But I guess maybe we can start trying to keep a board we like so something like this can become like Mr. Kriesel did. So you get 40 years in and build a bank, but we can't just keep taxing, taxing, taxing. And I honestly have trouble believing that once a tax is implied, that it'll ever be relieved. I don't believe the four year thing for a second. They never, no one ever taxes you and then takes the tax away. We never. haven't been taxed ever in this township. Do you understand my drift? There has never been money paid to Cotterville Township for any services How did ever. It, it operated. Well, yeah, but look, on a shoestring. I mean, they didn't raise the water rates. They, they couldn't do anything because nobody wanted to spend any money. But how can you, how can you operate when everything's going up? My, oh, I understand that. And as a board, I, I get what you're saying, but my wages aren't going up. Will you, do I got to go get a second job? I mean, we all got to live within our means. I don't think you want to be without a fire department. I got a pond. I take my chance. <laughs> Mr. Daniels, did you? Um, I did not get a letter. Didn't get, did you turn in a letter? No. No. Okay. Anyone else? Greg Abbey, six seven seven six Markle. Uh, and I'm sorry, I came to the. I thought the meeting started at seven thirty. I came in a couple minutes late, so I don't know if you guys discussed some of this or not. You know, I, I understand that the, the 12 cents is it 12 cents for the, the police part of this assessment. Do we have a con are we going for a contract? Because the pit letter I got didn't say what. No. So there is no contract with anybody at this There's point. There's no contract with anyone except the, the fire department right now. We have one uh, written agreement with the fire authority, which we're a member of for 25 years. Okay, and that's with and, the IRA and the, township? And IRA has one for five. Okay, so an IRA's west of Starville and. Right. And who's east of Starville? That's Marine City. Marine City? Fire okay. 40. How many fires were there? I'm asking, how many fires were there in the last five years oh, in the township? I don't know. 179 Does, last year in Cotterville. In Cotterville Township? Well, them are calls. They're, oh, not, okay. they're not necessarily house fires. Okay. Fire. See, I didn't, this paper wasn't That's available okay. back there. Okay. So you're saying so they're saying that the cost is ninety eight thousand dollars for each fire. Is that what I'm reading? No, well, that's our portion. That's the year. Yeah. Okay. That's our portion. That ninety six thousand six hundred ninety six dollars. 
Okay, so we've always, and that comes out of the general fund, you guys said, correct? And that's what we're trying to replace. I'm, yes, I'm separate to from the general, separate, separate so from the general cover fund. Its own. It, would, it will take okay. care of itself. Has has the cost has ever been negotiated with the fire authority? Well, we're one quarter interest in it. Okay. So we have two board members, and then I think Marine City has three, don't they? Yes, Chief? they have the majority of the calls. Yeah. Okay. And we use their building, and you know, okay. we're all paying for the wear and tear on the trucks, and we got a tanker we got to replace here shortly. It's 20 years old, isn't it? Yeah, an engine that's going to be replaced. So. Okay. And the contract for the police would be with the t the county. It would either be the county or the or Clay Township has given us a price. Clay too. Township, okay. Just a proposal. I guess those are my only questions. I didn't turn in a letter, but. Okay, very good. Um, Give me your address again, Greg. Six seven seven six Markle. Okay, thank you. Very good, sir. Anyone else? Okay. Diane Bowden, 6833 Marsh Road. I just have a point of clarification that I would like. When this millage is assessed for fire protection, will homeowners continue to be billed for fire calls to their homes? No. I would say not. No. Thank you. That's all I needed clarified. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? If not, we're going to close. Oh, Tom, you did you I have any questions? A, oh, I'm sorry. Were you going to get up? He's just getting up for okay. his wife. If there's no other question, oh, go ahead, Gene. <laughs> uh, Eugene Moore, 7414 Broadbridge. I uh, voted no on the proposal in 2017, and my vote still no. Um, if you did 179 fire runs and charged that man $500, and that lady. Three thousand dollars at a hundred or minimum of five hundred dollars a run. That's eighty nine thousand dollars. So, where'd the money go? We're not we're not charging for medical no, runs. That was already explained. Okay. Probably, probably ninety percent of it is is Shangri La Trailer Park, where we have to report. And I have a couple of ideas on how we can work that out too. So. It's just the numbers don't match up. No. Right. But they're not, we didn't have that many house fires. You know how many, almost everybody in town knows when there's a fire. Somebody loses their barn or loses a garage or their home. You hear all about it. But these are medical runs also, which we do not get reimbursed for. Anyone else? Nancy? And you're going to have to help me spell your last name. Nancy Kilinowski, K-I-L-A-N-O-W-S-K-I. 7170 McKinley. Um, I just would like to clarify something. Now, you just clarified that if we pay this fire, we will not have to pay a bill to the township if there's a run. Um, the taxes, and I think maybe I didn't understand this, and I think some others didn't either. Let me see if this is straight. We pay our taxes to the county, and then the county gives the township a percentage back for their operating expenses. Is that correct? Is that how that works? That's yeah. pretty much the simplicity of it, so yes. So we are not actually say, paying a percentage to the township. It's coming back from the county based on all of their taxes that are brought in. They, they ask for so much a pot, and then they divide it up to what departments? The drain commissioner, the uh, 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 sheriff's department, the, I don't know, everyone else is Your on summer that. taxes Risa. are all for the schools. Right. Okay, and then your winter taxes... Um, are mainly for the operating of the township. Okay, okay. and then that comes back and from the county, and it's we based get on one, un, under one percent. We collect the taxes. The treasurer's department collects taxes for the county, and mm -hmm. then we get a certain percentage that comes back to the township as operating taxes, and that's the I'm generalizing, but it's around ninety-five thousand this year, correct? And then in addition, that goes into the general fund. Right. And in the general fund, there's other revenues that come to us as a township. We collect, like, from the building department or uh, the, the small amount of fire run fees, um, administrative uh, revenues, different things. Okay. No more dog catchers anymore. No, but, <laughs> darn. And then we, have, we, we use that to operate the township. Okay. And the state that requires five times 
two and a half times. Two and a half, two and a half, I'm sorry, two and a half times. Um, is that the general fund or is that the total operating? Total. So that would include this village. It, has it to would be, be the total, um, I believe it's the total operating. operating. Of everything, of just everything. operating, yeah. yes. Okay. No, I believe it's the total funds, revenues, expenditures, and then what's left in the township to operate operate in a, any type of crisis. And that's why the township, or excuse me, the state requires two and a half times your fund balance as a cushion. 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 Because if there is any, because if not, then the state's going to be required to come in. And this is nothing new. This has been going right. on for, I mean, if you've been here and been coming to, it's been going on for a while. And we've been trying, we've been trying to show you that we're balancing the budget, that we're uh, recovering revenues that weren't recovered before. Um, whatever we can do to keep that um, budget balanced, make right. amendments. And um, that, that, Amount that the state requires you said there's money in there that cannot be used. It's designated. And it's it's restricted we Okay, can't. and that's probably and that's part of the money that the state requires to be in there. Is that? Uh, that, that was go what, towards the total that was money that was designated through the audit that we yeah. were being told that's been set aside for um, Other expenses that they yeah, know they, are coming they anticipate due. are coming due. Okay. Yeah, and we can't touch that but that, that has to be set there. Can't touch it because we know in a, a year or two years there's going to be an expense coming down for that particular item from okay. past boards that can't be spent. So we're not going to come in back in here in two years saying you need more money. <laughs> What's well, the special no. stuff that you have set aside? No, no. That was that's designated money from previous boards that can't be touched. Okay. And it's and it's just in here to show that. That's not part of what we can use if there's any kind of emergency. Okay. Right. Okay. And did that, that road right? assessment get my gravel on my road today? <laughs> where, where do you live? Are you McKinley. on McKinley? McKinley. Yeah, because I'm on McKinley too. It looks, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. It looked, well, Tom went down there. Yeah, Tom was <laughs> down there. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Oh, if, I don't know. It's just like it's drivable. All right. If there's no other, oh, we'll get one more guy. Okay. I've got a question. Okay, this is special assessment for the fire and police. Yeah, can I have your name, sir? Uh, Frank Parada, 6827 River Road. Spell your last name? P-A-R-A-D-A. -A. Okay, thanks. Go ahead, sir. Oh, did you send us a letter or no? No, Okay. I, didn't, I wasn't here. All right, go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, I can help you. So now that you're collecting this extra money for the fire and fire, so... The money that you're collecting now, you're not going to be taken out of the general fund, right? Right. So that money now is going to be going into the general fund. It's going to go into the savings account, into the fund, okay. fund balance. And every item that, every money that we collect that we don't spend on fire is going to be transferred at the end of the year into that line item, into the, into the fund balance. But this money you're collecting now is, is to pay for the fire department, right? right? So you should have that extra $100,000 or $96,000 in move the general it over. fund now. Yeah, we could move it over. It should stay in okay. the fund. It should stay in the general fund. But I'm against it anyway, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. All right, if there's no other comments, I'm going to, uh, oh, wait, go ahead, Chief. Just to clarify, if, if the board does pass this, it's, I believe it's illegal to charge any residents for any calls. Um, yeah. Me, as being in Cotterville, if I was to get an accident in China Township, even though Marine City responds, they can charge you. Um, even though it's the same department because you're not paying the China Township taxes from what I'm understanding. Right. So if this does pass, then it's, nobody would ever receive a bill, even in the IRA area. Okay. Well, we'll probably still invoice for, like, washdowns and stuff if it was a car accident and neither yeah. resident was in our fire authority. If they're out of the township. If they're out of the township, the yes. The township. Okay. All right, we're going to adjourn this. Well, I guess we better close it. Um, we have a motion to, to close, and then I think we'll take a 10-minute break. Barb, would you be able to help some of the residents that wanted to check on what their amounts would be from what you have on the on the tax roll? I'm sorry? It, following this. The regular board meeting. You mean the next? June 5th? Oh, the next public hearing, if, if this flies, is going to be June 5th, I think. It's 630. Same place. We're going to vote on it in the, at the next meeting. 
which is in about 10 minutes. If we can get back here for, yeah, as long as it's quick. Right. No, we've got a whole stack right here. But we have to ha we have to have a percentage to see if it's going to fly or not. Yeah, so if they didn't speak and they didn't give me a letter, then we don't have a record of it. It, it doesn't make any difference. I have to have I have to have everybody for, for the record because this is your way to go to the tax tribunal if you want to fight it. You see what I mean? No. No. All right. All right. Come on, you guys. Hey. Can I have your attention for a minute, please? All right. We need to. Uh, I'll make a motion adjourn. to close the public hearing tonight, May 8th. 7:57 p.m. Do I have a second? second? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those yeah. opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. See you in 10 minutes.